Only 9% of America's young people have any interest right now in joining the military. We missed our recruitment goal in the Army by 25%. The military. Look how they're, you treat the people that served your country. So no wonder they don't want to sign up. You treat them like shit. Don't use that. Why? That's mommy's. Use this if you want to smell like that tea. You never had to question if you were a man, so why give your money to a corporation that doesn't know if their products are made for men? Try Jeremy Razor's hair and body products. Jeremy's shampoo and conditioner are made with tea tree oil to naturally clean and restore your hair and scalp, argan oil to soften your hair and not your masculinity, and aloe vera to moisturize the hair and scalp. It's all paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, and most importantly, 100% woke-free. Not to mention, it smells amazing. Go to jeremyrazors.com and use my special code BURNS15 to save 15% off. That's jeremyrazors.com. Use my special code BURNS15 to save 15% off. There's a shortage of the military, and now they're offering immigrants to uh, join the Army. Legal immigrants to join the military, not just the Army, but the military. You're offering for legal immigrants to join the military. But they don't bleed red, white, and blue. On this land, they don't believe in our American dream, our habits, our foundation. We have people that were born in America that don't believe it. You're offering to uh, let immigrants join the military and they don't have that same foundational belief. Reason why this is a big problem, well, number one, I just explained to you why this is a big problem because they don't have the same foundational belief. We are in a looming conflict between China, Russia, and Iran, in Syria. We uh, bombed Syria not uh, a couple of days ago. So right now we're in this conflict and we don't have enough military men. We don't have enough military men that believe or that want to die for this country. But we're immersed in these conflicts. This is News Nation. 5GW, nothing is as it seems. Joe Rambo, I don't know who Joe Rambo is, but he got a huge, huge um, following. Enlistment falls short due to the pause. Doesn't this list of immigrants sounds like the list of military age males crossing the southern border yeah and they do have a lot of male military age men crossing our southern border would there have been a contingency plan for an unex uh, an expected shortfall in enlistment numbers of course there would when is it the last time your tv told you the truth Never. Pretty simple trade-off. How about service for citizenship? The military says they want legal immigrants to address recruiting shortfalls. 14 just graduated Air Force basic training in April. Another 2,900 have enlisted in the Army. Recruiters are using social media to reach new candidates. For example, this Facebook page to recruit members to the Air Force from Nepal. At the same time, fewer natural-born Americans appear to be interested in enlisting, military surveys show they are afraid of dying, worry about PTSD, and don't want to leave friends and family behind. Congressman Mark Alford is here, Republican from Missouri, member of the Armed Services Committee. Are we to believe that people who don't live in America are more interested in serving and protecting <laughs> America than those who do? It's Leland, here's a s disturbing statistic. Only 9% of America's young people have any interest right now in joining the military. We missed our recruitment goal in the Army by 25%. The Marines were the only one who hit it. The Navy came very close. We've got to do something to get ready for this pacing threat from China. If we're going to take legal immigrants, not illegal aliens, but legal immigrants who have assimilated in our country, who know English, who know how to write it and speak it, and they have a passion to fight and possibly die for America, he sounds like a nut job. I'm sorry. There, nobody's going to have a... Your kids here don't have a passion to just go to school to read. So you talking about passion to die, and then they look at the crisis, homeless crisis, drug crisis. Some of those guys served in the military. Look how they're, you treat the people that served your country. So no wonder they don't want to sign up. You treat them like shit. America, why is it 
that it, it would appear that people who are not from America have a better feeling and are more interested in serving America than those who were born here. Leland, we live in the greatest nation known to man. Unfortunately, the left has so demonized our founding fathers. I think it's really about politics. It is about politics. They have made it to where our young people have no interest in serving our country. I had to get on the House floor earlier this year and fight against socialism. The Democrats voted against this measure, which would uh, denounce socialism. Those sorts of things are detrimental mm. to our society. We've got to reinstill patriotism in was, America. This is fascinating. The largest numbers are from Jamaica, followed by Mexico, the Philippines, Haiti, Nepal, Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Colombia, and the Dominican Republic. Why not? Is there a way to expand this program? Well, hopefully so. Anyone who would like to come here legally, get their green card, like Raul Guerrera. I did a program with him in our district yesterday for Flag Day. He came here as an immigrant. He got his green card. The first thing he did after doing that was join the Marines. He <laughs> served proudly. He That's became great. a great citizen, joined law enforcement in our area, has now retired, but a great American. Why? Wow. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to get his picture and put it on, put Let's it on do the screen it. tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, Congressman, good to see you. Okay, I see where he's getting at with this. But reason why children today, and he pointed out socialism, you know, these kids are brainwashed. They are anti-American. Okay, that's what the left has done to our children. They're, they don't like America. They think America is the worst place on earth. Okay. So that's one problem. But the other problem, Republicans don't help. We, Republicans are so out of touch with reality. If I see Joe Schmo on the street, Joe Schmo been in the military for all since I know and he came back as a war veteran or whatever. He's a veteran and he's been on the street suffering from PTSD he has some type of drug abuse problem or some type of ailment and he's trying to get help, but you don't help him. They see that. These kids are old enough to have a parent that served in some type of military. And if they're going through some type of PTSD or some type of problem, they're seeing like, why the hell would I want to be a military person? And you treat my dad like shit or my mom like shit. Why, why would I want to do that? We need to get out of La La Land and get back down to reality. Now, on the other front, I could see some um, immigrants coming over here because they want opportunity. They know America is the greatest place on earth. They know it and they've been hearing it through the stories. So that's why they want to come over here. And that's why they're willing to risk their life to serve in the military. Well, I think it's a security issue, depending on where they're coming from. But will we have an uptick in enrollment because we're trying to enlist people from other countries to get their green card? So when they get out the military, y'all could we could mistreat them? Or the government mistreat them. I mean, you guys throw me a lifeline. I, I don't know. I am just throwing stuff out there. But I I know if I was literally about to sign up for the Army when I graduated out of high school. I was in ROTC. All four years of high school, I said, okay, let me sign up for the military. My mom was like, you ain't signing up for no damn military. But I didn't have nothing else to do. But I'm glad I didn't because now I see the way they treat military servicemen. I mean, if you get hurt or if you have some type of problem, physical ailment or mental ailment, they do not treat you kind. You are supposed to be a hero and they treating you like a zero. You served and protect your country and you can't even get a prescription drug. You can't get proper health care. You don't make enough money to, you know, pay rent because it's out of reach or you can't find a job because the skills that you required in the military is not, is non-essential in the public or the private sector. Anyway, so they want, they want other or immigrants to sign up to serve our country. I told you one of my solutions, all these badass kids, they're walking around here 
wreaking havoc in these larger cities. They know how to carry guns. Give them an option. Hey, when they get caught up in trouble, hey, you either go to jail or you serve in the military. That's how you increase your enrollment. Make men out of them. And then you're you're saying that they have to be able to read and write and all that stuff. That's another problem. Why aren't you investing enough resources and time with these children, American children, so they will be able to pass the ASVAB test? Some of these kids that's doing deviant stuff, bad things, they probably can't read or write at a level that they should be. Why aren't you investing? It's, it's easier to invest somebody overseas. Oh, they're military age. But you should have been investing in our kids. We got 10, 10 years or 12 years of the educational system ruining our kids. They can't read. They can't write. Most of the kids at the 12th grade level, and especially black boys, are reading at 4th grade level or 6th grade level. They can't, they can't pass the ASVAB test. You're trying to create people that are Americans and um, proud to be Americans and want to die for this country, but you're not putting no investment into them. You're just letting them uh, ruin the educational system and I guess put them in prison or they just kill themselves. I, I just don't understand it. So it's a, a bunch of stuff that we got to fix in, in the U.S. And then we're trying to lean on immigrants to save us, to get our enlistment up. That's just, that's just ridiculous. And we got plenty of men, able-bodied men, that's able to serve. You just didn't invest enough time into them. They literally want the country to burn like, where the F do y'all plan on going? I guess, I, I don't know. <laughs> I went to go sign up when I got the office. There were two black people and one white lady and they all told me I shouldn't do it. <laughs> and my mom said, no, I wasn't doing it. But I, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to pass because I don't, I, I was always a small person. So I, I don't think I weighed enough. I think you had to be like 125 pounds. I was I was merely 100 pounds at 18, probably like 99. <laughs> I was a little a little small person. I remember um, very clearly asking myself, "Are they trying to tell me something?" <laughs> they kept making the case about my age, so I walked out. <laughs> what? So they talked you out of it. Now I understand. But I have nothing but respect for our servicemen. I do too. I'm, anybody that said, hey, I'm willing to dedicate my life to serve our country for our freedoms, my hat goes off to them. You want to like, subscribe, and share this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. You want to go over to my other channel and subscribe. This particular channel is just political stuff. I am going to load political videos up, but they're, they'll be shorts, mainly shorts on this channel. Some, some long view. And I always stream from this channel too. So whatever you see here on my main channel, you'll see over on this other channel. But uh, this will be mainly highlights for political views.